everyone, it's Michelle again. Uh, I thought I'd come along today to show you how to make some books. I know some of you made some of those with me already, but I'm going to show you how to make some different ones. We've got some zigzag books here, and we've got some flap books here. So first of all, I'll show you how to make this simple zigzag book. Okay, so with the long piece of paper, fold the long edges together in half and give them a really good press so that you get a really sharp crease. Open it up and fold it in half where the short sides go together. Again, just take your time, make sure your edges come together there. So we've got the short sides together and then we're going to fold it in half again. Open it up, turn it over so that the long sides reach across and then we're just going to fold it into the zigzag and it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect so don't worry if some of the edges aren't quite clear. So that's your first zigzag book and you can use both sides of the book if you want to. For our second zigzag book, we're going to make it longer. It has more pages in this one. And we do this by folding the long sides together, make a crease, press hard the whole way along, and then we're going to cut along the crease. So carefully cut along the line that we've made. And then we're going to fold each side in half again and in half again and the same on this one, the short edges go together a bit tricky this one so it's not perfect though which doesn't matter but you can make it a little bit straighter and then the same again. So now you could have two separate books or oh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to join them together. So I'm going to use a print stick and put a little bit of glue on one of the rectangular size that we've got here. And put one of the other rectangles on top. So we've joined the two pieces together and made one long one now. So we just need to do our folds again and make sure that we fold backwards and forwards to make a zigzag book. Now this book, you can have it that way, so you can turn your pages and look at each page, or you can have it that way. There, so you could, if you wanted to hang it on the wall, you could hang it from the top and you can have something going down like that. What I like to do with these zigzag books is Think of maybe the alphabet or maybe your name. Naomi's helping me today with the filming, so I'm going to write Naomi. I'm going to write mm, Do I have an E on Naomi? No. Naomi. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and think of some things that begin with each of those letters. So what could I have that begins with N? Um, I could have a nut. And you can draw a picture and you can write the words if you wanted to. I can have a N. Mm, let me think, things beginning with N. Mm. 
Hmm, number nine. And you can think of as many things as you want to for each letter. So for A, I could have an ant. I have to ignore my drawings, I'm afraid. I could have an apple. Oh, orange. Um, I could have an octopus to try and get eight legs on there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Give him a smile. Octopus. Hmm. I'm going to have a little mouse. Need some little whiskers and some ears. And we could have um a monkey. This is going to be an interesting drawing. I'm not very good at drawing monkeys, but that doesn't matter. We'll just have a go. It's a strange monkey. And I, I, igloo. That's a house that's made out of ice, if you didn't know that. And we could also have an ice cream because it sometimes makes the I sound as well. Igloo and ice cream. You could try that with your own name. You could decorate the pages any way you want to. You could just start with the alphabet if you wanted to and keep joining extra pages on until you get all the alphabet on. And the second book, the one that we can hang on the wall so that it goes that way, I thought we might do something to do with patterns. So we could look at all the different sorts of marks that we can make. So we could start off on one page and cover that page with lots of spots or dots. And we could do some zigzags. do them so that they're straight like that or you could do them like that let's try some stripes we could have long stripes that go very close together or we could have some short stripes we could have stripes that go in different directions Hearts. And you could spend a long time colouring your hearts in if you wanted to as well. We could do stars like that. Or we could just do stars like that. Nice smooth curves. And I can do them very small. Or I can do them deep and then small. So it's just playing and making different patterns. We could even take our pen for a walk with lots of curves like that. So we could have triangles, diamonds. And you might want to spend more time colouring them in. And then one thing I like to do at the end is I like to go along the sides of each of my pages to make it look like a picture frame. So I can do a straight line around the edge. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then I might do a curly line on this one. Use your imagination. This could be called your doodle book. You're just doodling and drawing little things. You don't have to do it all at once. 
Can we see what it looks like if we're going to hang it up now? And there you go, that would make a lovely feature on your bedroom wall, wouldn't it? Okay, I'm going to hand you over to Naomi now and I'm going to talk Naomi through the instructions of how to make one of those zigzag books and then we'll see what ideas she comes up with for her own book. today's session with Michelle and me and hope to see you all again soon. Bye!